chapter 5. Now the prophets Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel prophesied they unto them. Then rose up Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel and Yeshua the son of Yozadak and began to build the house of God, which is at Jerusalem. And with them were the prophets of God, helping them. At the same time came to them Tatanai, the governor beyond the river, and Shethar Bazanai, and their companions, and said thus unto them, Who gave you a decree to build this house, and to finish this structure? Then spoke we unto them after this manner, wrote they, What are the names of the men that build this building? But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, and they did not make them to cease till the matter should come to Darius, and then answers and then answers should be returned by letter concerning it. The copy of the letter that Tetanai, the governor beyond the river, and Shethar Bazanai, and his companions, the Arphasaki, who were beyond the river, sent unto Darius the king, they sent a letter unto him, where it was written thus, Unto Darius the king, all peace, be it known unto the king that we went into the province of Judah, to the house of the great God, which is built with great stones and timbers laid in the walls, and the work goeth on with diligence, and prospereth in their hands. Then asked we those elders, and said unto them thus, Who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this wall? We asked them their names also to announce to you that we might write the names of the men that were at the head of them. And thus they returned us answer, saying, We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and we build the house that was built these many years ago, which a great king of Israel built and finished. But because of that our fathers have provoked the God of heaven, he gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, the Chaldean, who destroyed this house and carried the people away into Babylon. But in the first year of Cyrus, king of Babylon, Cyrus, the king, made a decree to build this house of God, and the gold and the silver vessels also of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that was in Jerusalem, and brought them into the temple of Babylon. Those did Cyrus the king take out of the temple of Babylon, and they were delivered unto one whose name was Sheshbazar, whom he had made governor. And he said unto him, Take these vessels, go put them in the temple that is in Jerusalem, and let the house of God be built in its place. Then came the same Sheshbazar, and laid the foundations of the house of God, which is in Jerusalem. And since that time, even until now, hath it been in building, and yet it is not completed. Now therefore, if it seem good to the king, let search be made in the king's treasure house there, which is at Babylon whether it be so, that a decree was made of Cyrus the king to build this house of God at Jerusalem, and let the king send his pleasure to us concerning this matter. All right, let's go back up. Uh, verse 1, and we're going to... Remember now, yesterday the adversaries of Judah had come up, and they had stopped so much as the building of the house of God. They had written a letter, and Artaxerxes had sent a told him to make a decree to stop this until he could make a diligent search. But we're going to find out, see, the Darius, he is going to be the king of Persia. He's going to take over. And Darius is going to do a search uh, as well in the records of Babylon to find out what had happened. And, but we're going to find out during this little period of time when the they had so, we'll say slowed down building the house of God. The prophets Haggai and Zechariah uh, would be prophesying. Zechariah is the son of Edu, and that is the Edu is his witness. Uh, Zechariah, those that uh, that are remembered of God. Haggai, he is also the prophet, and he is the those of the festive, those the, the one who speaks, even those of the festive those that celebrate. Uh, we're going to pick it up here in verse 1. Now the prophets, Haggai the prophet, and Zechariah the son of Edo, prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem, in the name of God of Israel prophesied they unto them. 
Now the prophets, and the prophets are the speakers. The prophets are the ones who speak, and even these ones who speak now will find in the name of God, the God of Israel, the God of those that contend with the Mighty One. They would prophesy in His name, and this is be the same as to speak into speak His word. These would be the prophets of uh, Haggai, and Haggai is the festive. Haggai means the festive, uh, and Zechariah. Zechariah is the remembered of God. Those are those remembered of God. He will be the son of Edu, his witness. And they would prophesy unto all the Jews. Jews, once again, are these from Judah. These are those that were in Judah. See, there's, those are praisings. And this Jews would be simply the plural form of that. And Jerusalem. Jerusalem is where is the city of peaceful teachings. God's been making an example out of that place for many, many years. And it is in Judah. Two. Then rose up Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and Yeshua, the son of Yozadak, and began to build the house of God which is at Jerusalem, and with them were the prophets of God helping them. Then rose up Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel is this one who was parched or scorched uh, in Babel in confusion. And well, and I, I, they, were, they was even taught this lesson. Zerubbabel, he is the son of Shiltel. And Shiltel is this that was asked for of the Mighty One. Uh, and Yeshua as well that he is saved. He is Yeshua means he is saved. He is the one who come forth from Yozadak. And Yozadak is God's righteousness. They would begin to build the house after. And if we go read the prophets, Haggai and Zechariah, we'll find out this was what they was prophesying, that everybody was building their own houses, but the house of God wasn't being built. And it was time. It was time to rebuild the house of God, uh, according to that which was prophesied even by Jeremiah. Three, at the time, at the same time, came to them Tatanai, the governor beyond the river, and Shethar Bazanai and their companions, and said thus unto them, Who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this structure? So now this would be during that time, during about, about the same time that Haggai and Zechariah were prophesying, it's time to get up and build the house. We'll find out the... Tetanai, he's going to be the governor, this one who was set in charge beyond the river. And that's those waters that descend. Tetanai is this gift. Tetanai is a, uh, it, it's, not a it's not Hebrew, it is uh, Aramaic. He would be the governor beyond the river. And Shetbar, Shetar Bazanai, Shetar Bazanai is this star, remember Shetar, a star. It's all the same, this Shetar, this, this star. Or this light, this understanding that comes from heaven of splendor. That's who we're talking about. Uh, and, and their companions. And they said this unto them. Who give you a decree to build this house and to finish the structure? And we remember now it was Cyrus. For then spoke we unto them after this manner. Wrote they. What are the names of the men that build this building? And they was wanting to know who was building it. And after the manner of which we spoke, they wrote down, and that's what this means. They would write down whatever was said, uh, and they wanted to know who's, who was doing it, who was building this, so that they could take it back and give it to Darius, trying to cause trouble. This is this, what was going on, five. But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, and they did not make them to cease till the matter should come to Darius, and then answers should be returned by letter concerning it. But... They wouldn't make the Jews to stop. We'll find it. See, God, God was prospering them. This was that, even that period that was prophesied of. The God was prospering the Jews, or those of Judah, those of Prasians. They didn't make them stop until the matter we can find, we'll see, could come before Darius. Darius is the Lord. Darius means Lord. It is more of a title. And they would wait for this letter. We'll find out uh, these things that were written even to return from Darius 6, the copy of the letter that Tetanai, the governor beyond the river, and Shethar Basanai and his companions, the Aferasaki, who were beyond the river, sent unto Darius the king. And they'll, and we're going to get a little copy of that letter, now this letter that the gift 
uh, the governor beyond the river, beyond these understandings that descend, Shetnar Basanai, that star of splendor, and his companions, the Arfarsaki, and the Arfarsaki, these are the, if we remember, those are the ones that will divide. They divide deception. These are the ones that are beyond the river. They sent this letter uh, unto Darius, and, and they, seven, they sent a letter unto him, wherein was written thus, unto Darius the king, all peace. And this is going to be a portion of that letter, or the letter, a copy of that letter that, we, that was sent to Darius. Darius is the Lord. He is, is the, the king uh, at that period. And all peace they sent to him. Eight, be it known unto the king that we went into the province of Judah to the house of the great God, which is built with great stones, and timber is laid in the walls. And this work goeth on with diligence and prosperous in their hands. And let it be known to the king that we have went into the province. This province is a, a portion of the dominion. It's a portion of a dominion that's of Judah. Judah is that place of praising. And into the house of the great God. And this great God, well, there's only one God, and the rest he give to all the other nations to do to worship them in their abominable ways. But unto you he commanded, you shall not do this after the ways that they do. And this is the house which was built with these great stones, these stones, it's the law of God. And this timber that's laid in the walls, these walls are those things that separate, and these timber is those things that's been hewed down from the forest, all those that once it was exalted, see, until they was exalted so high that it was their time to be fell. And this was the work that went on with great diligence, and it does prosper in their hands. Nine, then asked we those elders, and said unto them thus, Who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this wall? So now Tatanai and Sheshlar Basanai, they want to know where they get the decree, and who gave them the decree to build this house and finish this wall? Ten, we asked them their names also to announce to you that we might write the names of the men that were at the head of them. So they wanted to know who's, who's doing it. So they was going to write their names down to record it, to send it unto Darius. In case there was trouble, they would have someone they could hold accountable. Eleven. Thus they returned us answers, saying, We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and build the house that was builded these many years ago, which a great king of Israel builded and finished. And thus would be the answer that who is who's building this house? Uh, well, we are the servants of the God of heaven and earth. We are the ones that serve God of heaven and earth through the observance of the law. And this is the house that was built many years ago. And these many years ago, even these uh, examples of time, these many years ago, these greater understandings even of long ago where God commanded the law and set the law, and the examples God made, well, it was built by a king. And this would be Solomon. Solomon would be the king of Israel who built this, the great king. We'll find out as well the uh, great example that God made, 12. But because that our fathers had provoked the God of heaven, he gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, the Chaldean, who destroyed this house and carried the people away into Babylon. But now, because that our fathers had provoked the God of heaven, and that's what had happened, their fathers, the, the generation before, see, the, the ones that went into judgment, they had provoked God, and even the God of heaven, that he's the God of all understanding, see, he's got God of earth as well, we'll find, he has proven it many, many times, over and over and over, God rules, God rules in heaven, God rules in earth, he gave them, see, God gave them over into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, and that's into the works of Nebuchadnezzar. He's the prophet that protects the crown. He's the Molech of confusion, Babylon, the Chaldean, that clod breaker, oh, the, thought to be the wisest of the land, who destroyed this house. He destroyed it. He's the one that burned it and tore it down. And he carried the people away into Babylon, into that place of confusion. 13. But in the first year of Cyrus, the king of Babylon, Cyrus the king made a decree to build this house of God. 
and this is where this decree came from to, to restore this house. It would be in the first year, and that was the beginning of the greater understandings of Cyrus. He was the Molech of Babylon, or the king of Babylon at that period, after, Nebuch after Nebuchadnezzar's son was, the kingdom was taken from him. We'll find that Cyrus, he is the possessor of the furnace. Cyrus means this one who possesses the furnace, who possesses the ability of judgment, punishment, so to speak. He is the king of Babylon. That's that place of confusion. Cyrus made that decree and to build this house of God, 14, and the gold and the silver vessels also of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that was in Jerusalem and brought them into the temple of Babylon. Those did Cyrus the king take out of the temple of Babylon, and they were delivered unto one whose name was Sheshbazar, whom he had made governor. And all this gold, that, that, that which belongs to God, and the silver too, silver belongs to God too. The silver is that which was had to be purified, though. It had to pass through the fire. See, it, it's that generation before it. It's what it represents. These are the vessels, these that contain also, that, that came out of the house of God, because that, that's where all that was stored up. These are the things which Nebuchadnezzar, he is that prophet that protects the crown. Uh, he took them out of the temple. That, that was the place where God put his name in, in Jerusalem, that place of peaceful teachings. And he brought them to the temple of Babylon, even that temple of confusion where all the nauticons, all these imaginations of men, these images, these idols, so to speak, or these idols that, that men would make, he would bring them there and set them up unto his nauticon. But those did King Cyrus, did Cyrus, now possessor of the furnace, he was the king, take him out of that temple of confusion. And they were delivered back to this one, uh, whose name was Sheshbazar. And we'll witness now here, this is going to be a beginning, even a new beginning. See, God making a new beginning. He gives these things, which was in the house of God, back to the Sheshbazar. Sheshbazar is this uh, worshiper of fire this one this worshiper of fire but sh who Sheshbazar is is this he is there your bible it says they are one and the same this one who was made the governor Sheshbazar is uh is there your bible this one who was parched in babylon or learned his lesson there 15 and he said unto him Take these vessels, go put them in the temple that is in Jerusalem, and let the house of God be built in its place. And that was the decree that went forth from Cyrus to take these vessels, these things that belong to God, all these things that come from the house of God. We got the number of them earlier from Ezra, and put them back in the temple. That's in Jerusalem. That's that place where God put his name in Jerusalem. That's that place of peaceful teachings. And let that house of God be built it in its place. 16, then came the same, Sheth Bazar, and laid the foundations of the house of God, which is in Jerusalem. And since that time, even until now, hath it been in building, and yet it is not completed. This Then came the same, Sheth Bazar, he is there, your Baba, and bit, laid the foundations of the house of God. Uh, we will find out. They cleaned up the foundations and reestablished them these places this that was way in jerusalem jerusalem is that place of peaceful teachings and this the foundations of the house of god are those things which it's laid on there it will be the even the stones that hold it up that support and yet it is not completed and even until that point in time it had was not finished but we'll find out they had still been working on it but not with the diligence that they had had restarted to work on it 17, now therefore, if it seems good to the king, let search be made in the king's treasure house there, which is at Babylon, whether it be so, that a decree was made of Cyrus the king to build this house of God at Jerusalem, and let the king send his pleasure to us concerning this matter. Now, if, therefore, they they write to Darius, uh, Tetanai, and Chetar Bazanai do, and to... Let a search be made in the king's treasure house there. This place where they kept all the records in Babylon, that place of confusion, whether 
it be so that a decree was made by Cyrus the king to build this house of God. And we'll find out that's exactly what they'll find, that Cyrus, he was the one who possesses the furnace he had took over at that time, uh, did command them uh, to, to do this by decree. But they're going to wait now for this letter that Darius will send back, and, and that's where we'll pick it up in the next chapter, chapter 6. Turn and return.